get it done. Yeah. Such a beast, aren't you? Okay. I see. Oh. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, I didn't realize I was recording. All right, go get it. Okay. I didn't realize I set up it for a review. Um, okay, here we are. Um, we're going to be reviewing the Air Hogs Havoc Stinger. Released in 2006. This is the original Havoc Stinger helicopter. You know, the foam edition. Um, I have already reviewed the uh, original Havoc helicopter a few years back. And, uh, if you want to go check it out, just go through my old videos and stuff and this is basically an addendum from that video so hope you guys enjoy it it's the air hogs have stinger review let's uh let's get on and going with the review all right guys here we are the air hogs rc havoc stinger the original edition released in 2006 as a uh i guess alienized version of the havoc heli as you can see it has glowing compound eyes it is a four-way directional helicopter. Fly your Stinger in any room. Here's the back of the box showing all the features like crash resistance, body construction, tail rotor, fly bar, and all that good stuff. As you can see, it's A plus easy to fly. All right, here we go. I took the, uh, the main box off and here's just a little display case of the helicopter sitting on top of it. And uh, I'm going to take a look at that in a moment. Slide that off. Take this off. At the reveal. The transmitter. And this is the classic design Air Hogs Havoc helicopter transmitter. Of course, the modern ones now haven't really changed that much except for the three channel and four channel versions that are out that are named like the Axis 300 or 400 or whatever. But anyway, this is the originals, folks. This is the throttle stick here, spring-loaded. Gotta love that spring-loaded thing. Hmm. It's a very good design for uh, little kids, but for us, you know, hobbyists, we dread that. Then uh, here's your on and off switch here, your channel band switch, so you can effectively uh, fly three at once if you have different uh, helicopters with different banding on them. If you have the same one with the same banding, then you're out of luck. Then here's the charge bay door, which has your little charging hose there. Nice little focus there. Sliding it in and out. And then here's your left and right yaw for spinning left and right. And here's your trim switches in case if it's spinning one direction, you just press the switch in the opposite direction to somewhat straighten it out because you know these uh, helicopters do not have gyros in them so it'll still have some sort of spinning no matter what you do to the trimming so anyway without further ado here's the helicopter itself and indeed it is pretty small but not compared to the smallest uh, drones or quadcopters that are out today but back in 2006 the Picuzzi Havoc Stinger, Havoc Kelly, or whatever, uh, was the smallest helicopters at the time. And you could just see how nice it rests in, your, in, your, in, some, in a normal person's hand right here. Uh, the design of the Stinger is supposed to be based off of a uh, bug, like a fly or something. So if you're flying around somebody, they'll think it's a, oh my gosh, it's a... Electronic flying remote controlled flying bug thing. I'm gonna go swat it and you know smack it on the ground or whatever. But it's still a pretty cool design though. See the main rotor blade has these like wing designs on it. It has a uh, the glowing compounds eyes instead of the uh, canopy. There's the gears in here for the main rotor and the motor and all that stuff. And you got the back tail boom here with the tail rotor which is still a pretty small motor now you got these same type of motors inside the smallest quadcopters that down here is your charge inlet thing your on and off switch this one is a bit beaten up but surprisingly this thing is in great shape and I already looked at a couple uh, websites about the original Havoc stingers and 
I've seen some working up to $110. I was like, man, that's pretty pretty high for a, a little toy helicopter, but these are now slowly becoming collectible, so that's why these original Havoc Stingers, and it's a good to have at least a couple of these things and um, to have fun with and show them off that, yep, even these <laughs> are worth something in the world compared to uh, anything else that is out there. Charging the unit is basically the same thing as every other Aerohogs uh, micro helicopter or airplane. You just take out its built-in charger as seen here and plugging it in and then turning on the transmitter and it should have the green light indicating that it is charging. And charge times vary uh, on each Havoc helicopter. It's roughly around 40 minutes or so. So after about 40 minutes, the screen light should go off. It should be fully charged and we'll be able to fly. All right, the battery is fully charged, but before we get to that, here's a little design comparison between the original Havoc Stinger and the original Havoc helicopter here. As you may have noticed, this is a different Havoc helicopter that is a lot less beaten up than the one I had showed you a few years back. You see this one's in pristine condition. But we're not reviewing this, we're reviewing this. They're pretty much the same deal, but just a bug version. It has, the landing skids are plastic legs versus foam landing gear. And then there are Havoc helicopters that are designed off of real helicopters. Like there's a 64 Apache. There are ones based off of like Bell helicopters. And um, I think the late last one that they released was a uh, one based off a Blackhawk. Yeah, off a of UH-60 Blackhawk. So we're gonna get on going with the flying of the Havoc Stinger, the alien book that's going to invade your living room. <laughs> Alright everybody, I have turned the lights down a little bit so it's easier to see it flying around and uh, reduce the infrared interference in the room, so I turned it on. Here it is, with the evil growing, glowing red lights. Dun 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 dun! It's gonna go right through your screen and attack you. No, not really. So here we go, we're gonna start it up. I'm gonna focus my camera here. Alright. There we go. That's much better. Alright, here we go. I'm here with the trimming process. Alright, trimming, trimming. Alright, there we go. I got it at least balanced close enough. You can see. Can't really see him down there, but my cat is watching, laying on his back. He's like, what is this thing? It's pretty cool. Something to do on a crappy weather day. And something flying around for once on my YouTube channel. <laughs> So you guys really wanted to see something fly for a while, so this is your sample. Oh, it's had an infrared glitch. Wait, I gotta take it back off. There. <laughs> this thing's still glitchy. One thing I don't like about infrared helicopters. It's very glitchy. The flight time depends, if they're brand new, with brand new batteries and all, they will fly about 7 minutes. Mine still fly roughly 5 minutes or so, not too bad, but uh, over time the batteries do get bad at them. I do have a couple that don't even work at all. That brand new one I showed you, that brand new Havoc helicopter, the battery is dead in it. Probably have to replace it sometime, but... As you see, they, the batteries don't fare well. <laughs> but, you know, things get old. It's quite surprising that this one still works.
<laughs> I'm doing that on purpose. Doing a little bit of spinning right in the camera here. Yep, these are now collectible now. So if you have a couple of these in your collection, keep them. They're starting to earn their worth. Not sure about the, uh, the newer metal and plastic ones that were released later on. But these foam ones are now worth a little something. And if they still work, they're probably worth a little more. I'm showing a little bit more flying here. I was having a hard time to keep it in frame. Ooh, that was a close call. Battery's about to die anyway. I'm thinking. Yeah, there we go. There's a little bit of a hand landing if you saw it. There we go. The air hogs have extinguisher. 2006 to 2016, 10 years. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe for more Arrowhog classic content. Hope to see you then.